IT Wire, Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger require the most data from users. Subscribe to newsletter. Advertise. Home your tech apps Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger require the most data from users. Home. Your tech. Apps. Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger require the most data from users. Tuesday the 7th of November 2023-1036. Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger require the most data from users. Zero. Share. Tweet. Share. 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 By Ken Anthony Mendoza. Comments. Discuss underscore comments. The Meta family of apps, Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger, request the most data from smartphone users, according to research from data center company TRG Data Centers. The apps require access to 14 separate data permissions, such as personal location, media files, browser history, and more. The Meta policy is the same on all three of their apps. TRG Data Centers says personal online data is increasingly less secure. Citing data from Statista, there were 6.1 million data breaches in 2022 with over 700 million private files from individuals and businesses leaking online. Apps installed on smartphones siphon personal data to function. Research has shown that the average smartphone user has over 80 apps installed on their device at any given moment. Upon downloading these apps, users allow access to their personal data through permissions, which can range from basic information, such as an email or a phone number, right the way through to taking financial information. Which app is most invasive? To find out which popular smartphone app is the most invasive with personal data, TRG data centers analyzed both the iOS and Google Play app stores, finding the top 100 apps by downloads and establishing which required the most permissions to function. Second to Meta's family of apps are LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instacart all request 12 data points from users. These apps do not request health and fitness data from users, and professional social media service LinkedIn also does not request access to browsing history. Of the top 20 iOS apps by quantity of permissions, 45%, or 9 twentieths, want access to 11 data permissions, with apps such as Google and Amazon Shopping being significantly less invasive than that of the Meta family. TikTok the most popular app by downloads on the iOS store, also requests only 11 permissions, three fewer than that of rival social media sites Facebook and Instagram. On average, the number of permissions required for the top 20 iOS apps is just over 11, 11.35 specifically. Similarly to iOS, the meta apps of Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger once again feature as the apps in the top 100 that require the most permissions to fully function. The less data-heavy version of Facebook, called Facebook Lite, still needs the same level of data access as the standard version. The search giant Google has 13 permissions requested on the Google Play Store, two more than the iOS app version. Likewise, X, previously known as Twitter, needs just 7 permissions on iOS, and yet on the Google Play platform it needs 11. On average, the number of permissions required for the top 20 Google Play Store apps is almost 12, 11.70, showing that apps registered on the Google Play Store have a higher average data access requirement than that of iOS. The level of data we allow smartphone apps to access about our daily lives is remarkable. With roughly 85% of the world's population owning an internet-enabled smartphone, and each device containing an average of 80 apps, the quantity of data available to marketers and hackers alike is huge, said TRG Data Center's Chief Technical Officer Chris Hinkle. We fully recommend restricting just how many permissions each app uses. While apps may function better with certain features enabled, your data security must take priority. Read 240 times. Please join our community here and become a VIP. Subscribe to ITWIRE Update Newsletter here. Join our ITWIRE TV our YouTube community here. Back to latest news here. Gartner Market Guide for NDR 2022. You probably know that we are big believers in network detection and response, NDR. Did you realize that Gartner also recommends that security teams prioritize NDR solutions to enhance their detection and response? Picking the right NDR for your team and process can sometimes be the biggest challenge. If you want to try out a network detection and response tool, why not start with the best? Vectra Network Detection and Response is the industry's most advanced AI-driven attack defense for identifying and stopping malicious tactics in your network without noise or the need for decryption. Download the 2022 Gartner Market Guide for Network Detection and Response, NDR, 
for recommendations on how network detection and response solutions can expand deeper into existing on-premises networks and new cloud environments. Download now. Promote your webinar on ITWIRE. It's all about webinars. Marketing budgets are now focused on webinars combined with lead generation. If you wish to promote a webinar we recommend at least a 3-4 to four week campaign prior to your event. The IT Wire campaign will include extensive adverts on our news site at wire.com and prominent newsletter promotion https colon slash slash at wire.com slash at wire dash update dot html and promotional news and editorial plus a video interview of the key speaker on ITWIRE TV https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash c slash itwiretv slash videos which will be used in promotional posts on the ITWIRE homepage. Now we are coming out of lockdown ITWIRE will be focused to assisting with your webinars and campaigns and assistance via part payments and extended terms, a webinar business booster pack and other supportive programs. We can also create your adverts and written content plus coordinate your video interview. We look forward to discussing your campaign goals with you. Please click the button below. More info here. Back to home page. Tagged under. Facebook. Instagram. Messenger. Meta. iOS. Google Play. Facebook Lite. LinkedIn. X. Twitter. YouTube. TRG Data Centers. Ken Anthony Mendoza. Ken Anthony Mendoza is the newest member of the IT Wire team. Ken is also a contributing writer for South China Morning Post style, and has written stories on Korean entertainment, Asian and European royalty, millionaires and billionaires, and LGBTQIA plus issues. He has been published in Philippine newspapers, magazines, and online sites, Tatla Philippines, Manila Bulletin, CNN Philippines Life, Philippine Star, Manila Times, and The Daily Tribune. Ken now covers all aspects of technology news for ITWIRE.com. Latest from Ken Anthony Mendoza. Colt completes acquisition of Lumen EMEA. Seeing Machines report records over half a million instances of risky driving in ANZ. Kmart Australia sends more than 200,000 marketing emails to users who previously unsubscribed. Cybercriminals use Geni to scam users in dating apps, sites. Related items. Upcoming Ubico Cyber Deal. Buy one Yubi key, get one for 50%. Node stealer attacks on Facebook take a provocative turn. Threat actors deploy malvertising campaigns to hijack users' accounts. Bitdefender. Dell Technologies and Meta to drive generative AI innovation with Llama 2 on premises. N3 Hub enhances customer communication experiences with CDP Orchestrator. Share news tips for the IT wire journalists. Your tip will be anonymous. Webinars and events. Enable announces inaugural APAC rebate strategy conference. Elevate guest event. Enable, the letting rebate management platform, announced today. APAC marketers meet up. Being brave in business with Lisa Ronson guest event, with competition building up to be even more. Mandiant reveals lineup for MWISE event guest event. Mandiant, now part of Google Cloud, today unveiled. RSA Identity Day. Be there in Sydney and Melbourne guest event, learn about the latest identity security innovations, how. Cyber OZ 2023 Engineering the Future of Cybersecurity, IPv6, and AI Complementary Invitation. Join us at the inaugural Cyber OZ Conference, a neutral and cybersecurity. Cyber criminals use Geni to scam users in dating apps, sites generative AI refers to the use of AI to create. Where is Australia's GDPR? Guest opinion, in the realm of politics, it's rare too. Bendigo and Adelaide Bank site hit by 4 minus 1 half hour outage The website of the Bendigo and Adelaide Bank went down. Node stealer attacks on Facebook take a provocative turn. Threat actors deploy malvertising campaigns to hijack users' accounts. Bitdefender cybersecurity solutions provider Bitdefender Labs says it has been monitoring. Japan's Narita International Airport strengthens emergency communication with Motorola Solution Japan's Narita International Airport has extended the reach and capacity. People moves. New Shield appoints Louis Smith Jr. as Vice President of Worldwide Sales New Shield, developers of the world's first mirror shielding TM technology today. Nutanix appoints Sri Balachandran as its first a NZ Cloud Economist hybrid multi-cloud computing provider Nutanix has appointed Sri Balachandran to Commerce Hub appoints Gordana Redzovsky as MD to drive growth, 
in APAC Global Commerce Network Commerce Hub has hired Gordana Redzovsky as managing. Chris Paulston joins Beyond Trust to lead Australian public sector business momentum Beyond Trust, the worldwide leader in intelligent identity and access security. Illumio names Ben Verghese as Chief Technology Officer promotion to CTO comes as the Zero Trust segmentation market. Guest articles. Atlassian unveils new innovations for Jira Service Management Company News. Powerful generative AI capabilities in Jira Service Management. Six accounts payable automation trends in 2023 GUEST opinion. Generative artificial intelligence, GenI, is the new watchword. New Gen recognized in October 2023 Gartner Magic Quadrant TM for enterprise low-code application platforms fourth time in a row company news. New Gen has been identified as a niche player. Upcoming Ubico Cyber Deal. Buy one YubiKey, get one for 50% company news, with Black Friday and Cyber Monday fast approaching. Enable announces inaugural APAC rebate strategy conference, elevate guest event. Enable, the letting rebate management platform, announced today. Almost all low companies using AI in marketing, with spending to increase in 2024. Twilio chatbots are the most popular AI-powered marketing tool today, but why making ESG goals a key organizational focus is essential and how to monitor them guest opinion by Felix Berndt, Regional Manager, Asia-Pacific, Tesla. Avanade launches six Microsoft 365 Copilot services rollout follows privileged access and extensive testing of Microsoft 365. Survey. Generative AI saves Aussie workers entire days worth of work per week. Guest research. But, the majority of workers say they don't. AppDome partners with JetBrains Team City to automate delivery of secure mobile apps partnership brings Android and iOS cyber defense automation inside the guest opinion. Six accounts payable automation trends in 2023 GUEST opinion. Generative artificial intelligence, GenI, is the new watchword. Why making ESG goals a key organizational focus is essential and how to monitor them guest opinion by Felix Berndt, Regional Manager, Asia Pacific, Pesla. Unlocking the future of learning, the vital role of digital identity guest opinion, education is a pivotal driver of personal and Australian government pledges to not pay ransomware demands guest opinion, the Australian government has joined international allies and benefits of using pair deal flow software for investment firms and professionals guest opinion, the world of investment is continually evolving, with how and why we should be building customer trust through ethical design my credit card was recently hacked and since then the successfully deploying AI tools in the financial services sector guest opinion, of all the topics currently occupying the minds. Breaking the stalemate. Effective Gen.I adoption amid regulatory uncertainty many organizations are still holding off on long-term generative AI. Leveraging machine learning for advanced business analytics guest opinion, artificial intelligence, AI, is gradually dominating today's entire. AI is transforming patient care and how we use technology guest opinion, it is a disruptive time in healthcare, with ITWIRE TV and interviews. ITWIRE TV, Gigaman Chief Product Officer Michael Dickman on observability through encryption ITWIRE TV, Gigaman Chief Product Officer Michael Dickman explains why encrypted. ITWIRE talks to Rapid7 about cybersecurity, quantum threats, legislation and AI guest interview, Rapid7 CSO, Jaya Balu, talks to ITWIRE about ITWIRE interviews Cloudera at Sydney's Evolve Conference and learns about AI threats and risk mitigation guest interview. ITWIRE was at Cloudera's Evolve Conference in Sydney. IFS talks Aussie manufacturing, asset management and ERP plus sustainability and ESGGUEST interview. Warren Zeman from IFS discusses the current state. SecureWorks, how CISOs can get traction in their boardroom guest interview. ITWIRE talks to SecureWorks Alex Tilly about how Research and case studies. Almost all low companies using AI in marketing, with spending to increase in 2024. Twilio chatbots are the most popular AI-powered marketing tool today, but. Survey. Generative AI saves Aussie workers entire days worth of work per week. Guest research. But, the majority of workers say they don't. Channel news. Yahoo to integrate identity solution with Twilio segment to drive greater advertiser relevance and reach a customer data platform Yahoo Advertising has announced a new integration. 
Acronis brings one-stop cybersecurity platform for MSPs to gain clients and revenue faster security and protection software company Acronis says MSPs are a comments. Re. IT Wire. GitLab brings culture change to Lendlease's software development team's great news. All the best for Lendlease. Re. IT Wire. Foxtel announces Hubble to overcome subscription fatigue with one device to rule them all sounds good but insufficient detail to decide if it is useful or economic, and I really don't trust Foxtel to. Re. IT Wire. ACCC backs government plan to develop emergency mobile roaming is this the same ACCC that stopped network sharing for Telstra and Vodafone, listed Australian companies, because Singtel, Singapore government. Re. IT Wire. Chinese and Korean phone makers. ROM stands for, read-only memory, stop using this term, this is a plague. Stop using ROM when you mean storage, flash, SSD or similar. Re. IT wire 5.3 billion phones, prematurely discarded, every year. Mobile company, the 5.3 billion figure quoted seems wildly inaccurate. Services. Promotional news and content. Sponsored announcements. Self-posting. Jobzilla IT jobs. See newsletter. Our journalists. Company. About. Contact. Advertising specs. Advertise now. Privacy. Editorial gridlines and complaints handling. Sitemap. Connect.